and welcome back to my channel today i am going to make a smoothie um, the smoothie consists of a few different um, items and i will um, list those in the description box um, as well as to show you what i'm using and what i'm adding um, to my smoothie um, I do want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for returning. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Um, as I'm getting started on this YouTube journey, um, I am looking forward to connecting with um, so many different um, people and aspects of life. So I am so very grateful um, for you all returning and stay tuned. All right, first, um, we're gonna start with washing our hands, um, which I have already done. Um, that's why I paused the video. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and get things set up, but show you what I'm gonna add into my smoothie. And I'm just hoping that it's delish. All right, first starting with the mango chunks. Um, I did purchase these from Trader Joe's for um, less than $3. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the organic raspberries, which is also purchased from Trader Joe's, um, also under um, $3. And then the fancy berry melody from Trader Joe's as well, um, under $3. And my fresh strawberries, which was purchased from... One fail, it's okay. <laughs> which was purchased from Fresh Time here in my hometown, which was under $3. Banana, just one whole organic banana, 49 cents of, 59 cents a pound because they're organic. Um, then I have my six ounce pineapple juice, not from Consecrate, which adds the A, C, and E vitamin. And it's Stoll. And then this was purchased um, for fresh time as well, which was under $4. And then my golden flaxseed, which was about $3.99 a pound. <laughs> and this was under, what, $3 as well. And um, I'll let you know how many cups or how many scoops I use of this. And then we have our Vanilla So Delicious Dairy Free Organic Coconut Milk, which was purchased for under $5. And then I have my Bush of Kale, which was 99 cents a pound, which was under two dollars <laughs> um super simple the basics um and i'm gonna go ahead and get started i'm gonna get my blender set up because i didn't set that up before um all i gotta do is just piece it together uh, and i'll be right back stay tuned all right now that i got that cleaned up i'm just rinsing off the excess water of the blender or from the blender and look at it Hooking it into its base, as you can hear. <laughs> I'm just cleaning off the excess water and of the entire blender. I don't know, I just love making smoothies. Like, I just love it and I'm just like, okay. I can have people watch my video, watch me making a smoothie. <laughs> so, uh, why not? That way, you guys can definitely fall in love with me. And uh, you're going to see how delicious this smoothie is going to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the baking soda. I'm sure people are watching like, why the heck does she have baking soda? I have baking soda to wash off my kale in my strawberries. The baking soda, it helps remove the 
pesticides off of the um, vegetable and fruits um, that it was, you know, that was sprayed on them to keep them looking fresh. So while I'm actually going to just be right back, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wash those off and stay tuned. Right now, I'm still washing off the vegetables and fruit. Um, well, more so the strawberry and the kale. I already washed off the kale. Let's show you all the strawberries. They're soaking in baking soda. Just waiting for those. And I'll get back to you all um, shortly. So that way we can get this smoothie started so you can see the end results. Absolutely. All right, stay tuned. Thank you. All right, now that I have those items washed off, I'm gonna go ahead and store the remaining items in the fridge. All right. And definitely you are, when you wash off kale, dabbing it, you making a smoothie, but you know, you that extra water, you wanna try to dab off. And my paper towels are like soaking wet. That's how much water was holding on to, to and in the kale. All right, so I have my measuring cup, which will be like just for the, black seed and the berries. Uh, I'm going to use one tablespoon of the golden flax seed that I showed you earlier. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bowl there. Probably can barely see it, but it's in there. One tablespoon of that I'm going to put in the smoothie. I'm going to push this to the side. Get it back. Get it back, get it back, yeah. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my berries. I have a knife. <laughs> to open it. I'm probably not going to, yes. Do I want to use like, no, I'm going to use like a tablespoon worth of berries. So, nah, I lied. I really didn't lie, I just wasn't sure. So let me grab um, a measuring cup for my cup. So just a moment. My measuring cup, blah, 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 my measuring cups, but I'm not gonna use all the measuring cups. I'm gonna pour the Berry Melody into my half a cup measuring cup, which will be about 118 milliliters, but it's a half of a cup. Half a cup. As you see, half a cup. Pour those into a bowl. I'm gonna mix all my foods together so that way I can just pour them over into the blender. So going ahead and getting this into the blender. As you all can see right here, Blender, blender, blender. Pour, pour, pour. All right. Go ahead and set my camera back down because I want to keep my hands free. Right now, I'm opening up the organic raspberries. As I told you earlier. I'm not making a lot of noise because of those. Get the measuring cup. So these are frozen raspberries. Go ahead and put them bad boys as well in the blender. Throw those to the side, and then my mango chunks. All the berries I'm using, frozen berries I'm using, I'm doing a half of a cup. If the cup allows me to, yes. As you see, I just dropped one of my mangoes. All right, get that in the blender as well. I'm big on keeping stuff fresh and not much 
firm believer of putting stuff back in the refrigerator when it needs to go in there or the freezer. So I'm putting these back in the fridge. Keeping those bad boys frozen. Back to my bottom of my fridge. All right. And then show you all my my kale and my strawberries. Da, 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 da. Plate it. All right, so I'm gonna cut the top of the strawberry off. You know, to each his own. Some people just like to leave that on and just throw it in the blender. Me, I'll just take it off. Strawberries. And I actually washed off five strawberries. That was one. And here's the other four. I washed those off with the baking soda. And to be honest, like I can tell the difference. Like when you use baking soda versus just using water and just what? Washing them off like with warm water or hot water, or cold water, however you do it. You can tell the difference. Try it. Try the baking soda. Cleanse it off. Don't, don't use too much baking soda. So probably like a, <coughs> if I can measure it, <coughs> excuse me like a half teaspoon of baking soda or about one fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda um, would help to go ahead and put um, over your fruits and vegetables to wash off. Like literally like wash them, get a bowl full of warm water, put the baking soda in there, mix it, put your fruits in there, wash them off, no cross contamination, rinse the bowl out, pour it out, put the fruit to the side, Go ahead and do the same thing to your vegetable. And I used three bundles of the kale that you've seen that was plated. But right now I'm just removing the kale from the stem. And I am putting it still back on the plate. Um, I'm going to put everything in the blender as I go. And I'm so grateful that you all are tuning in. Um, I am so grateful. And I look forward to my channel growing um, with all my viewers. So my whole banana, yes, I'm going to use the whole banana. I'm going to cut my end off, both ends. Peel it accordingly. The little, you know, nasty stuff off. So now I have that peeled. My strawberries, I did cut them a little bit in half. Go ahead and put those in the blender. My kale, I might cut it up a little bit more because like once I start blending it, you know, I want it to all break down. But yes, I, I used um, three bundles of the kale because... I just love kale. <laughs> so it's up to you. You can use one bundle of kale, but I'm putting the three bundles that I took off of the stem. Stems that I have remaining, but I got some kale left on there. Let me get that. And took it off, put it in the blender. Boom. We're almost here, you all. So banana, I'm gonna get that chopped up. I'm gonna chop this over the blender. You may can't see my blender too well, but I promise the stuff is going in there. Oh, snaps. See, let me start running my mouth. Let me go ahead and um, just get this chopped in here. Break it down like that. Put my trash on the plate, more so my remains. Oh, pretty much nothing. Garbage. Compost is what it, what it really is. Ooh, I got a little kill. I found on the table. The table is clean. Y'all know how shady y'all try to be on YouTube. I'm a very clean person. So this is my six ounce, floor ounce of the Dole pineapple um, juice that I showed you. It is not cold. It is room temperature. I'm going to pour this into the blender as well. You hear it? Sounds good, doesn't it? I drink the rest of the access of it off of the top. All right, so now as it relates to the coconut, organic coconut vanilla, 
Um, milk, this is about 80 calories per serving. But for right now, I'm not watching my calories at this time. Because, well, I really am. But it doesn't matter because it's under 100 calories. So, that's why I'm not too worried about it. So, I'm going to do two of the half a cups, which makes a whole cup of the coconut milk. I'm pouring it into that purple bowl that I showed you all that I have my strawberries in, my berries in, all my berries. So, well, do you really want to see the consistency of the milk? If so, I'll pour it back in here so that way I can see it. Mmm, it smells good too. All right, I'll put that in my blender already with that. And last, but surely not least, a little banana. Put my one tablespoon of flaxseed inside the blender. I'm not using ice because the berries were already frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this. All right, so I got everything set up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my blender. It is a Black & Decker blender. I'm gonna put it on smoothie whip. And obviously, I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to go ahead and do it on high. All right, stay tuned. Y'all see that consistency? Y'all see those things blending together? That's going to be great. I am so excited. This is going to be good. So I'm going to stop it for right now to try to make sure everything was mixed and blended in well. I'm going to use a knife because sometimes when you use a knife, I'll let you know if you have things at the bottom or not. That just feels like the blade. Still needs to blend a little bit more. Better ain't one life then. Probably put a lot of or too much tail in it, but that's fine. Just blending it. So stay tuned, you guys, so you can see the finished product. More so, you are looking at the finished product of my delicious smoothie. I don't know if you can see that. To some, it may look disgusting, but I do want to say, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's good. I said, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is so delicious. But thank you all for tuning in. Like this video. Comment down below on more videos that you may want to see or even um, comment on how good of a job I did um, in this video uh, making this delicious smoothie. Um, also, too, turn on your post notification bell um, so that way you'll know the next time that I post. And until next time, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, and I hope to see you all soon. Bon appétit. Peace. Hehehehe <laughs>
Merkel.